Chief Meteorologist David Paul joins us now with more on that tropical system in the Gulf. David. Hey guys, well we continue to monitor the Gulf of Mexico. We monitor it and of course the folks at the National Hurricane Center are water watching it very, very carefully. The director of the National Hurricane, Mike Brennan, joins us now. Good afternoon, Mike. So I noticed the pressure dropped just a hair from 1,000 to 999 millibars with your yep. uh, update that just came out. What are you guys seeing out there? What's the conversation going on about this system at the Hurricane Center right now? Yeah, it's really been not a lot of change since yesterday. The, the expectations haven't really changed very much. The structure of the system has not changed very much. It's not a tropical storm yet. We don't have that sort of well-defined center. We have this broad area of light winds, you know, a couple hundred miles across. We don't have that shower and thunderstorm activity near the center. It's all displaced up to the north, closer to you all in the you know Houston-Galveston area. So we are still expecting those impacts that we've been talking about, the heavy rainfall, the coastal flooding, tropical storm force winds. That warning's been extended a little farther north now. So that all still seems on track for you know really picking up tonight and, and into to Wednesday as we go into the day tomorrow. Mike, our viewers had a couple of questions. I wanted to run them by and yeah. let you explain. Uh, potential tropical cyclone number one. So we use the word cyclone. Yeah. We're used to hearing tropical storm and hurricane. Can you explain the difference or the undifference between those terms? Yeah, cyclone's just a generic term for an area of low pressure. So it can encompass all sorts of different you know, weather phenomenon, a tropical storm or a hurricane is a type of cyclone. So we're calling this a potential tropical cyclone because it has the potential to become a tropical cyclone or a tropical storm. That's what we're expecting to still happen tomorrow. It's just not quite there yet. So by using that term, we're trying to, to give an idea of people to people of what the system has the potential to be and really focus on the hazards, the rainfall, the coastal flooding and the and the wind. Another one of our viewers had a great question. Uh, if you read the advisory, it does mention yeah. that there are sustained winds out there of 40 miles an hour. And he was wondering, so if we have sustained winds, why have we not upgraded this to a tropical storm? Yeah, right now the system is sort of lacking two uh, you know, two features that would are required for it to become a tropical storm. Tropical cyclones have a well-defined center, so they have sort of a tight circulation uh, near the center of low pressure. This system does not have that. It's still very broad. You can't really pin down exactly where the circulation center is in this uh, sort of broad general region. Um, the other thing that tropical cyclones have, and for this to become a tropical storm, it have to be a tropical cyclone, is they have organized thunderstorm activity near the center. So the thunderstorm activity in this system is still hundreds of miles away up here over the northern Gulf. So until we see those two factors sort of increase and improve in the structure, uh, this will continue to not quite be a tropical storm yet, but the impacts are just like a tropical storm. That's why we have tropical storm warnings up that have been extended up north to San Luis Pass. That's why we're focused on the rainfall and the coastal flooding. Dr. Mike Brennan, director of the National Hurricane Center, thank you so much for giving us the update. We'll stay close with you as we go through the next 48 hours. Guys, back to you.